I see something long absent in the sunken faces of passers-by. A glimmer of hope. Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Modded Darkest Dungeon with me, your host Tim. Remember, this is a modded version of the game. You can find Red Hook Stance on mods in their game down below in the game description. This is a mod, so I need to tell you guys that. In addition, Red Hook is not responsible for any damages or anything that happens to your game, your computer, heaven help you if that happens, or anything else by installing a mod for Darkest Dungeon. There's no official support for mods for their game. They are very happy to see people make mods, but it's they're not responsible for anything that happens when you try to use them, just as a heads up. Okay, and there'll be a link in the lower left-hand corner for you to skip ahead to the provisioning section of this video in case it takes too long for us to get started. We're going to get two videos in today. I figured we would try to take out some more level 5s and get them leveled up. And in addition to that, we'll probably begin using, still use our low-level characters to keep testing them out. I also wouldn't mind having some more level 5s in addition to getting some guys at level 6. What have I done off-screen? So, I went ahead and I added the clear stun to Emboldening Vapors. I also went ahead and added the Bleed Resist debuff to Incision, which, and again, Darkness42, I apologize, I, I kept forgetting to add it. That was, I love that idea. That's a great idea. And so now she has this as well, which will pr probably be very, very useful. It occurs to me that, you know, maybe for over here for Disorienting Blast, maybe what this should do is actually, because Darkness42 had a good idea of adding a, adding a Stun Resist debuff, maybe instead of Disorienting Blast marking the target at rank... Four, maybe this should actually carry a stun resist debuff associated with it. I can add like negative 20% and then negative 40% for level four and five. This way, it's, she's, she's even more unique rather than just giving lots of people marked targets. So I think I will do that for Disorienting Blast. I'll strip away its marked target at rank four and instead it will lower their stun resistance. I think I think that's a good thing. So we'll, we'll attempt that. Okay. Um, anything else on off-screen? No, not particularly. Nothing that would impact us, at least I believe. So, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and see what trinkets are here first off. Anything that interests me? Nope, I don't see anything. There's a sun cloak, which is always pretty good, but I don't really use them, apparently. Oh, I need to do this, eventually vendor all this stuff, figure out what I'm doing with all this extra equipment. I'm not using it at all. People are resting and recovering. We have 16,000 bucks. The question now is, what do I want to do? Do I want to do a low-level mission to get more level 5s? Or do I want to do a high-level mission and attempt to get a better item? I'm so tired of doing the warrants. <laughs> I don't want to step back in here again. Oh, what do we have over here? I have the siren. I don't. Oh, I did, that's right. I did lower the Demon Cauldron's stun and debuff chances to 30% as opposed to 40%. I'm probably going to up that crit by another 1% as well. So that'll be plus 2% to crit next time you see this. So I could really use this conch trophy, the giant conch here. But I don't really want the Demon's Cauldron. So I don't want to do the cove at the moment. And I don't need another Blasphemous Vial. So I don't need to go over here either. So then I don't need a Hero's Ring. Yeah, there's nothing here I really need. So I guess what I... I guess what we'll do is we'll go for another pair of Brawler's Gloves instead. This is, And we'll level up some of my level 4s, or look even lower level characters. So let's do that. So to this end, I guess we'll bring... Let's see, do I have... I don't have the rank 2 scroll for a Vestal. We could... We could do something like this. Why don't we, why don't we respect Captain Mad Krista really quick? Uh, granted, I've lost every other Vestal I've done this for, but we're gonna, we're gonna make the attempt here. So... I have the cash lying around. We'll go ahead and spend $3,000 on that. Oh my god. I didn't know it was gonna be that expensive. Well, now I'm forced to do this. We're gonna bring Captain Mad Krista here, and she's gonna do this. We will also bring Veronica M. I can bring Sadis Swan. I'm 
can also bring Corvo a Tano. Not a very resilient group, but I think they'll do well. We could also... Oh, you know what? Actually, you're on Holy Slayer, Corey, so we, let's bring you. And we'll bring you instead of Satiswan at the moment. And we have all the trinkets I want everyone to have here, so... Someone's getting Necromancer Collar while we're in here. So is that going to be you? No, I do like the Blight skill chance, since we are using Hexed Bullet. I like the setup with her, so we're not going to take anything different. Corey, you have this scouting chance and trap this arm, but your trap this arm is actually pretty high anyway, because you have... Oh, because you have this equipped. If I take this off, which trap arm will drop too? I still like that, so we're gonna we're gonna keep this, and you're gonna actually take the necromancer's collar instead. That'll make up for this item that you're wearing here, Captain Mad Krista. I think she'll keep both of these now at the moment. And Corvo will drop the Drifter's buckle. Now I'm tempted to give him the feather crystal for even more dodge. Or a sun cloak. I think we'll give him the feather crystal. These are both incredible items as well. Oh, that's plus 15% hit points and bleed resist. Holy crap, that's wonderful. Alright, well, we're gonna go in this dungeon like this. This is a level 3, so it shouldn't be too hard for this group. Let's give it a shot. Alright, so let's get all the food we need. We will then take some shovels. I will want probably two anti-venoms, one more bandage, two of these, two keys, one of these, a stack of holy water, and we are good to go. Soda. So good. So much of it. I don't know why I can't stop drinking Cherry Coke Zero. It's like the only thing I want to drink these days. Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the fallen find rest? Okay, well, we don't have to go north at all. So we're going east. Oh, you're kidding me. And we find it right away. So this is ironically the worst and the best chance to find it. But none of us have any stress. We're all at max hit points. We've got the options to cure wounds and what have you. And we have some movement tricks here with Corvo to make up for our being out of position. The real problem is we don't have a lot of AoE. Um, I can take Strafe. I can take strafe. We do have a lot of healing. I won't be able to stun this thing. Oh man, I really want to do this. I really, really do. We have dog biscuits as well. We've got bandages and anti-venoms and holy waters here. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity to do this fight. And we can rest right after it's done. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. But we're going to do the fight that's up ahead first. That way, if I need to retreat, we can we will retreat back to this room, camp, and then continue on with the adventure. 110, 120. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll give it a shot. Also means I might, I might as well not use torches. It's also going to be a chance to see how this group will do right here. And there's no one dead, so we're kind of wasting some of our power. Let's still smash this one. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I don't care who she hits. Oh, whoa! That's not supposed to have a dodge penalty to it. 
Alright, I'm gonna have to fix that before I do anything else. Right after this fight, I'm gonna have to strip that away. I see what I did. I added... Okay. I made, I made the ability that added Mark Target. I must have added the same ability to this as this skill. Yeah, this is not supposed to have the minus 12 dodge. So I will have to strip that out. Oh, wow, yeah, the mark target's gone already on it. Good. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. My Houndmasters miss way more than anyone else does, and they have faded as well. That freaking stinks. Okay. Oh, that's awesome as well. Another anti venom. Okay, I need to fix that ability. That is way too strong at the moment. I will be right back. Okay, everyone. It's now working. Veronica M's hexed bullet, the Musketeers, no longer supplying a dodge debuff. And now Call the Shot still is. They both still mark the target for only two rounds. Call shot will go up to three rounds at rank five currently. I might up it to rank four. It might last another round as well. Actually, no. It's going to last one more round at rank five. All right. So the cool thing is we got some armor, which will grant me dodge or prot or both. The only question is who's getting this? I'm thinking we're going to give it to... I'm thinking we're going to give it to our Vestal here. Yeah, we're going to give it to our Vestal. So, because Captain Mac Krista's already at 39 stress. So here you go, Captain Mac Krista. Dodge and Prot. That'll be useful for this fight, and let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I don't have, I don't have a reason not to do it. I could use whatever item this is going to probably drop, and it also gives me an excuse to look at one of these items and make sure I like it. So... All right, let's make sure everyone's got what, what I need. So aim shot for when I actually can take pot shots at the big guy. Strafe to weaken the enemies. Hex bullet in case she gets moved to the front. And she can also heal to get someone off death door. That's the if I need to. We have the self heal heal. A uh, self heal here, which is great for a hound's master. Black deck is useless because I can't stun any of these things. For that matter, Cry Havoc's also kind of junk, but we'll keep it anyway. We've got some other abilities here, which will be useful. Got the Mad Krista's ready for the front line. I think it's probably in our best interest to swap and do this at the moment so she can damage and heal herself if she gets moved to the back. And Corvo's fine with what he's got. These are all the rank 3 skills anyway. Alright. Let's do it. Now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Singular strike. I don't really want her being here, so we're going to move her back. How quickly the tide turns. Okay, we'll heal this with anti venom, and then these two will end up using holy water.
Oh crap, I didn't take Mark Target. I forgot all about that. Crap. I should have fired on this one. I don't want to use Strafe because I actually want this one to die naturally next round before this guy goes. So we're actually just going to shoot. I, I really wish I had remembered to take the whatchamacallit instead. Let's heal everyone. Do I want to actually damage him? Let's damage this one instead. Oh god, that was a lot of stress. I didn't believe this. I think could crit. They're definitely going to make her go affliction. And there's nothing I can do about it either. Unless I kill this guy now and this one doesn't. Alright, I have to kill it this round if I don't want her to gain an affliction. We're going to try to do it. Nope, now that's definitely not happening. A decisive bubbling. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is anyway. Holy crap. Third round kill and he dies when he activates? So close. So close. It's dead when it goes, though. It's dead when it activates next round, so I can just heal. Needs something else. This is de this is good. Oh, you know what? I'll have to compare this with what I've got currently. All right. So we will. I need to drop some if I want this, and I totally do want it. We don't need the fortune amulet, so we'll take this instead. We'll go back here and we'll camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. We'll definitely stop a nighttime ambush. Now we need to get her stress down. Do I have therapy dog? I do. Let's use Gallo's humor. He could benefit from the stress resistance buff, and the others could definitely benefit from the stress reduction. Now the question is, what do I want to do? Do I want the scouting chance? Or do I want to actually do something about all this stress? Stress will be difficult to actually do something with. So, we will take the scouting chance. And we'll rest. Man, three round combat. We got, what, four crits? On that creature, five crits on it. If they had gone one more round, that would have been it for us. We would have lost our Vestal to Affliction, and I probably would have had to flee. I think we would have won that fight anyway. But, oh man. Well, we also have the cash to make up for it. And we picked up some cash in that room that we were in earlier, so. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow Now, we're going to kind of mix things up a little bit. We're going to do this now. And we're actually going to equip Illumination, because that has a self-stress heal. Well, that's supposed to go up a little bit. That's supposed to be plus three at this level, not plus two. Um, crap. So, i got to fix that now as well. So, I'll be right back. Again. <clears throat> okay. That's been fixed. Now it's healing three stress like it's supposed to be at this level. And let's get going again. Oh, hold on one second. This is free stress rec recovery. You don't even have to move out of the starting doorway if the trap in the ruins is right outside. And given our excellent chance to disarm traps with a highwayman and or a houndsmaster, there's no reason not to. So success, holy crap, we're walking out with a 25% virtue chance charm, a uh, trinket. That's wonderful. I will have to compare that with other trinkets. I thought there were a few others that give such a huge virtual chance as well. If there isn't, then this is perfectly fine. I might be confusing this with some trinkets I have that are, which are plus 15% virtue chance. 
Wow, I might have to actually have that. Actually, that's probably really good on one of my characters. In all honesty. In fact, why don't we actually equip it? She's not going to be using that this at the moment, so we'll do this. This way, if she does get too much affliction, hopefully Captain Mad Crystal will gain Virtuous. Oh, wow. And this is a very nice touch. Let's actually have Corvo use this. Since Krista can recover some stress and she's now using that trinket, she should have an easier time of it. In Radiance, may we find victory. We're actually going to start, though, by damaging these guys. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. I don't have a good way to deal with Arbalest. Let's eat a, our second biscuit. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Set him up to kill them with hopefully a mark shot. Close, very close. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. <laughs> not the most effective heal in the game. I actually really like that it's not. Oh, I need to take off her strafe. She doesn't need that ability at all anymore. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Right, so we don't need strafe. We'll put him back on called shot. We stay there, and that's what we'll do right now. Corvo, you have your abilities that you need, and you're good as well, Mad Krista. Let's keep going. Man, this is a bit exciting. Holy crap! Walking right outside and immediately getting one of those shrines. That was awesome. And we did it, and it wasn't too tough. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Ah oh, man, oh, whew, that was very tricky. Have to go this way. Definitely want that one them dead. No then I want him dragged forward so I don't have to worry about being shot. Impressive. Holy crap. Eradicated. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's a nice trinket as well. We will drop the anti-venom for it. And I, oh, this game. Love this game. Hold up. All right. Yep. We are, we are holding up. We definitely want to use a torch before we walk in here. There could be a fight in this room. Oh, hello. Secret room. I would like to go this way for these, but I don't need to. And in fact, I have to throw things out if I want this secret room anyway, so that room can stay there. Technically, I shouldn't go that way anyway. It's more of a risk of food, since we have to backtrack through 
we got to get there and then back. And that's too much of a risk for food checks. I no longer Wealth need the key. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy and alike. We don't need a single portrait. The real reason I bring the keys is just in case we actually do find a secret room. The treasure chests are of secondary importance to us. Right, there was no quest item down there, right? Curio, curio, curio. Lots of traps. We've got to go this way, though. And that way, and then we're done. Awesome! Holy crap! Not a not a tough mission at in the end. Not many other fights other than the Shambler. Well, technically I shouldn't say that. We could have a fight in this room. And we don't. Alright, let's do this. Don't need that bookshelf. We're all done with the du with the dungeon, basically. Ah, oh, this was a this is a nice little quick mission. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer than this. Definitely wasn't more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. What didn't I have didn't I have one mission where I did the shambler? The next fight was a collector. Right after that, I seem to remember this happening. Okay, let's keep exploring. We're in good shape at the moment. There's no reason that we need to flee quite yet. We still have food. Now I'm to go back here and just do this. But there could be a treasure chest up ahead. There could also be traps and what have you too. Let's let's keep going this direction. We're already here. We also have had tons of traps already, so hopefully the game won't spawn any more in this direction. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh god, that guy does so much damage. I really gotta get that guy dead now. Um, I don't really want to shoot, though, because we can't do anything. We can't use Hound's Rush from the front. I could use Blackjack. Oh, I could use Blackjack. Alright, we'll do this after all. Oh god, 10 damage. I don't care who she hits. Just not enough. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I would prefer to change illumination such that whenever your light level goes up 25 points, you earn stress for everyone in the group. But I can't do anything like that, unfortunately. Take a big hit here. I haven't really done a whole lot to most of them. What's their speed? Seven? 
What's his speed? Six. My speed's also six. I won't kill whoever I hit. So let's actually use the hex bullet and see who we're shooting next round. Just not enough. I can't use this or I totally would. I'm not able to target the person in the front rank. God, eight damage on you, Corvo. That makes that a lot more bearable. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I will leave these... Actually, you know, I don't think I need the shovels at all. We don't. Let's just drop the shovels then. With a citrine. And you know what? We're going back. We have plenty of food. We're not in terrible shape. Although, if I leave now, I've only got one person to treat for stress. No, let, let's let's do this. I'm gonna be a little bit more greedy. A little bit more greedy? We're gonna be greedy. A lot a bit more greedy. Just occurred to me that this group is didn't need the experience, didn't need the leveling. Oh that's right. I was doing this because I really wanted to also wait a week to see what I got next week for my level 4s or 5s. Uh, yes, correct. Oh, darn it. Well, we got no way to open that, so we're just going to leave it there. Nope. Never read books. Alright, we didn't even have a food check, so let's eat the food. And this will be good. Let's do it. Oh wow, this might have been a mistake. Good. That gives me one round to try to deal with this one guy. Let's mark him and hopefully we can kill him. Holy crap, half his hit points are just gone. That was awesome. But I won't kill him. I might stun him, but the chance is so low, but it's the only thing I can do. Holy crap, it worked. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't want you going next. There's no way you're going to kill it. 
Let's back up. We can then shoot him again. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Holy crap! Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, we're done. Let's uh, let the town. That was awesome. And twenty thousand bucks, and nothing bad happened to these people. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. All right. Mission accomplished. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Mobile Monster 83 meditated and recovered 70 stress. Carbon Unit 6 removed bad humors. Von Hammer removed night blindness and locked stout. Gaboro Vic removed clumsy and locked natural eye. Veronica M is now level 4. So, Veronica M... We're just going to buy everything. Because I have the money, so why not? And I'm tempted to lock something on her, but I already spent almost $7,000. <laughs> so no, she can just... Oh, but Quick Reflexes is so good. These are all so good. Well, oh, I forgot I locked Last Gasp, just in case she actually takes some damage. All right, well, let's keep doing the things I need to do over here. Griborovic, actually, we're going to send you in for stress recovery. A man in a robe, claiming communion with the divine. Madness. Von Hammer. Do the same. Captain Mad Krista. Get some stress recovery as well. I think that's all the stress recovery I need done. No one else is diseased? No one else is diseased. Oh, Captain Mad Krista, where are you? Do, 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 do. Take this off. Give this back to you. And then, let's take a look at my trinkets again. Is there anything here that actually gives me 25% virtue chance already? I thought there was. No, wasn't one of these items 25? 15. No, this is fine then. We'll keep the Ancestor's Tentacle Idol exactly as it is. So I'm tempted to give it some Blight Resistance, just because I think that's thematic for a tentacle in this game. Okay, so let's do another one. Oh, before we do that, does anyone have anything I need to lock or something? Actually, you know, we have enough cash. So Veronica M, we'll keep, we'll keep favoring you. More. Oh, I should have unlocked whatever else you had. What was that? Oh, you didn't... Oh, one person. God, I should have unlocked God, God Fearing, gotten rid of it. Oh, well, too late now. All right, so where are we going? What's around for us to do? We don't need the Dark Tambourine. We don't need any of this. Nah, darn it. We don't need any of that. Oh, but I need more experience, so... Okay, how much darkness do you need? You need a long mission. Or you need a short mission. And you need our one trinket equipped. Either one will work. Who's got my experience tr trinket? Actually, is there another one for sale, maybe? Oh, crap! We do have one for sale. I'll take it. All right then, where where did you go, darkness? So, we're gonna give you this. That's actually really strong. Accuracy, stress damage, hit points, and resolve experience. That might be a little too good. But we're gonna give that to you right now. I definitely want this on instead. That's still really nice. And I should vendor some stuff I'm never gonna use now. So we're not gonna use the sacred scroll, probably like the Mad Krista again. Just gonna vendor that. We're not gonna use the scouting whistle anymore. Aura Drifter's Buckle. 
I'm thinking that Corey Jackson, you will gain a stun amulet instead. Okay, where are we going, Tim? I need now to only do a long, uh, medium mission. Can we kill her? Let's see if we can kill her. All right, so April would need Iron Swan. If I want to do this. Oh, actually no. She has, if it bleeds, that would be fi that would be fine. That will be fine. So she can come along. And watch we'll you. Uh, I like her having Wicked Hack in the front. So April Kelso will come. Yeah, we're we're gonna try for it. I need to I need to kill all the I need to kill the bosses. I need to try for it. This is actually pretty nice too. So, April Kels will come along. We then need someone else. Darkness, you can come along. You're able to hit the third rank with your rage ability. Coconuts can actually hit the third rank with Hounds Rush. I'm tempted to give. Oh, and you're using the other metal, which we don't need you to have any longer. What am I giving you while we're in here? A sun Cloak would be really handy. So would a Camouflage Cloak. These are all good items. It's Blight Resistance I really kind of want in this location. I don't have a whole lot of that here. So then... I can't increase the damage on you either. They're also good. I definitely don't want any of the heads equipped on for level, on my level five. So let's give you let's give you a sun cloak. And you know what, coconuts? If we're giving you a sun cloak, we're also going to give you the guard ability. And you're going to be on this rank anyway, so that means no black... Oh, wait a 